Welcome to the Market Research Podcast that earned recognition in 2019 and 2020, named one of the very best in the marketing research field. This is Research Business Daily Report, and we are known as a video cast that has delivered the top research news day by day since its inception in February 2012. And today, we are recognized as the research industry's only daily research video blog. So enjoy today's report and any of our others, but please think seriously about supporting this Research News video series. And you can do that by visiting the link on the screen to your right. I'm Bob Lederer, now in my 26th year as a respected voice in market research. Yesterday, we at RBDR reviewed in detail Procter & Gamble's immediate and then continuing marketing response to the coronavirus. In short, P&G said full speed ahead, and with its enormous resources at its beck and call, its 2020 revenues grew 4%. Coca-Cola takes a backseat to no company in terms of marketing assets and prowess, but according to Marketing Week's Mark Ritson, the management perspective at Coke concerning COVID couldn't be more different than it was with P&G. Coca-Cola company, quote-unquote, paused its global advertising efforts during the worst months of the pandemic. In fact, advertising investment was slashed 35%, along with £2 billion silver from the communications budget. Coke publicly blamed postponement of the 2020 Summer Olympics, a pause in hate social media in July of last year, and a desire to support local communities for its decisions. But when it came down to the brass tacks, Coca-Cola CEO James Quincy said during an analyst call, quote, why would I want to spend money in a period if I can't get the return, particularly if there's a strong lockdown? We thought no marketing is going to make much difference in the second quarter, so we pulled back heavily. Mark Ritson argued that Coke needed a short-term sales jolt, which it never provided, and the brand, from an equity standpoint, needed to do the best, and probably worst of all, PepsiCo didn't really pay attention to what Coke was doing. Pepsi maintained its ad spending, and by the end of the year, it reported net revenue growth of 5%. That's a wrap on this day's Research Business Daily Report and for this week. We ask you for a small favor. RBDR has been nominated to compete with numerous other marketing research podcasts in a competition to be named the 2021 Marketing Research Podcast of the Year. Please examine the description box underneath today's RBDR. Click on the link that will take you to a page where you can cast your vote. I don't know if you can vote more than once, but if you can, please do us that favor. Do it today, even right now if you can. Thank you for viewing today's RBDR video. We hope that it and the others that you see lead to an appreciation of our work so that you might consider becoming an RBDR Patreon supporter so that you can see even more of them. Please visit our exclusive crowdfunding platform at patreon.com slash RBDR. We hope you have a good research day and this, re this research week is a good one for you. Please enjoy the weekend. And we will see you back with us again on Monday. And until then, please stay safe.